So yeah, just waiting a little bit more time to see if we can get some people in here. Don't be afraid to uh, ask any questions, post any general comments, uh, topic requests, anything you'd like. And it doesn't have to be completely political either. If you want me to talk about something else, or if you have something interesting you want to share with me, definitely post it in the comments section, and uh, we can definitely get some good engagement going with this live stream. So the first thing I pulled up here, you can see it's the CTV News London requested actual numbers for a five-year comparison of usage at the St. Thomas Food Bank. And the results are, as of 2019, it was 9,000 people. 2020, 8,000 people. 2000, sorry, 2021, the numbers are unavailable. 2022, it's 13,000. 2023, 19,000. In year to date of 2024, look at this. In just a few months, 8,000 people. So basically in the first quarterly year. Or just over. I don't know exactly when. I don't know if it says when exactly these. When this research was done. I don't, I don't know if this is like within the next the last couple of days or with the last couple of months. But, you know, we're five months in here. We're not even halfway through the year yet. And we're at least, we're probably at least going to hit 2023's numbers as things are getting worse. It's crazy what Trudeau has allowed to happen in this country. Just see, there's some things I wanted to show, talk about here with Pierre Polyev. Him and Jagmeet Singh have been going at it quite a bit lately, which is funny. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't know if you saw this, the uh, Conservative Party leader of Canada, Pierre Polyev, has a very close relationship with Bill Gates. To this day, Pierre exclaimed that the certain medication are safe and effective and has not acknowledged the, con the countless Canadians that are injured or dead. Well, and, you know, that's more of a, a libertarian complaint about Pierre Polyev, and it's a pretty damn good complaint. See, some people go after Pierre Paul Yev and it's just, oh, he's a racist or he's like Trump. These ridiculous attacks that are not even true. But then you have things like this or exposing him for he's likely to continue on the Ukraine war as well. And um, yeah, it's th those are not very good if you're a, more of a libertarian populist like I am. All right, let's play a quick video here. It's from Pierre Polyev's ex-account. Trudeau, sing, tax your food, punish your work, and double your housing costs, then ask you to feel bad for them. So let's have a quick listen to this. Turning to food banks as they struggle with high inflation and, of course, the mounting cost of housing. One in 10 people in Toronto now relying on a food bank. Uh, 2.53 million visits to food banks in the past year. That's a 51% increase. The long lines are a regular occurrence outside the Fort York Food Bank. Sometimes they can wait from 8 o'clock to the morning to the morning to 4 o'clock, and we have to tell them, I'm sorry, there's no more food. But they wait. It's not an easy time to be a politician. Yeah, and you know, that's... Uh... Please feel bad for me. I've destroyed everything you've had, everything you've worked for. But, oh, just, you know, please, you know, it's not easy being us. Well, we fly on a private jet and spend thousands of dollars a month on groceries and side with big corporations during a pandemic where you lock everyone down except them. Their stores were allowed to stay open. But if you were a small business that were doing anything similar, shut it down. That's what he did. Instead of, hey, listen, I screwed up. I should resign and let Canada be restored again. It's, I think you guys are worthless. Everyone who disagrees with me is racist or misogynistic. And I'm, in the, I'm the king of Canada. And I believe that's a quote from him where he said he was the king of Canada. Very interesting. 
it's very interesting how these authoritarians think, you know, like they're not just narcissists, but extreme narcissists. They have such a big ego that they think that everything they're doing, even though it's not good for the country, is great for the country. And then they double down and say, well, hey, again, you know, these people disagree with me. They must be like Alex Jones. They must be like Donald Trump. It's not my fault. Oh, it's not easy being us. It's actually, to be fair, it would be pretty hard to be as stupid as he and Jagmeet Singh is to destroy the country or to destroy provinces the way the NDP has done in BC. And then Jagmeet Singh has the nerve to say, well, you know, the Trudeau government, you know, when, when I become the next prime minister and then gets laughed out of the room, he, he then votes with the, the liberals every time he criticizes them. One minute he's criticizing them, the next minute he's voting with them keeping them in power. It's crazy stuff, you know, it's just, it's a shame that we've had to go through the last nine years, but, you know, thankfully, thankfully, we will be uh, changing that very soon, so. All right, so, you know what, I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow. I know it's, you know, late Friday night trying to do a, a live stream, but just thought I'd give it a shot and see if anyone wanted to join. But it looks like I think what I'm going to do is maybe do one tomorrow afternoon. So if you want to tune in then, I know Saturdays are kind of busy for people too, but it's one of the only days that I'm off work, so I can't do afternoon streams uh, any other time. So uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll check in with you again tomorrow, and hopefully we can get a good stream going. Have a good day.